Well guys, did you just buy an i5 14600K and then realize it draws a bit too much power and you want to maybe reduce your temperature, reduce your power consumption and increase your FPS all at the same time? Well, this is the right video for you guys. Now, little disclaimer, this CPU is actually the same, basically, as an i5 14600K. It's the same architecture, just slightly overclocked. So really, you could have used my i5 3600K undervolting video, but uh, if you did, you probably wouldn't have found this video, if it makes sense. So I am remaking it with a new BIOS. We have an Asus ROG Strix B760 motherboard. This means that you can do this even on a locked motherboard, yes. You can do this on B660s, B760s, H610, basically the lowest end motherboards out there, and of course on unlocked motherboard. This will also work for the non-K models of the CPU, for example the i5-14600, even for the lower end i5-14500, and basically for every 14th gen i5, even the KF variant and the i5-14600F variant. These names are getting a bit difficult. So with that said, I say we go into the BIOS, which is the only thing we're gonna need for the tutorial, and we start tuning. But before we do that, promise me one thing. If the tutorial ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, first thing you wanna do, again, make sure, is that you have your resizable bar enabled. This is just free performance, so be sure you have that. Now, you want to go into the advanced mode in the ASUS BIOS, it's F7 right here. Now, we will mostly use the tab called AI Tweaker. Now, depending on your BIOS, the naming will be a bit different. However, I do have different tutorials on the channel with different vendors. So by cross-referencing the videos in my undervolting playlist, you should find the BIOS for your motherboard as well. Remember, different vendors keep the same BIOS even in different motherboard revisions. So let's go ahead. First off, this is really unrelated to the actual undervolt, but you do want to have your XMP enabled. However, this is not going to work all the time. For example, uh, in this build, we have a 7200 megahertz RAM, which is very high, so it's not working out of the box. Um, but uh, if it's uh, working, you want this enabled, so test it out. And then maybe for RAM, we will have a different tutorial if you guys are interested, but it's very difficult. We go down here and basically we have a few things to play around with. Now, in modern CPUs, you basically play with the power setting and then you play with the voltage. So for the power setting, you basically want to find something that's called performance enhancement or something like that, or like extended turbo, something along these lines, okay? Right here. And now you want to enable this if you're doing this for performance, but if you're doing this just for temperatures, you actually want to disable this because if you disable, as you can see down under, you will keep to Intel default CPU settings. So this is key. If you're doing this just for temperature, temperature and power saving, disable this setting, it's super important. I will also show you how to disable this in biases that don't have the disable option. So in my case, we're doing this for performance, so we are keeping it enabled. But you guys, 99% of you want this disabled, okay? Now we go all the way down until we find something that's called internal CPU power management. Now in here, as you can see, we have a current limit max, a package power limit, power limit window, and basically all of these things, okay? We don't care about the rest, we only care about the power limits. Now, if you're doing this for performance, you want to just unlock these. So you just hit all nines, to basically just unlock it to the maximum. And also here on the time window, you just put it to the max, right there. And also on the short duration power limit, just max it out. So this is strictly for performance. If you're doing this for efficiency, you want to stick to Intel's default power limit settings. So how do you know this? Well, it will depend on your CPU. So you have to Google it online, uh, but uh, just one little look in case of the 14600K, I will tell you. And it's quite simply what's written here. So 181, 181 is usually what you wanna be looking at for the short, but for the long, you might also wanna disable it, just disable a bit at a time, you know, try 150, see how your temperature is and then try it lower. Obviously, this will reduce your core clock. So you wanna balance it with the performance, but you must know how to play with it. Now, another very important thing is in some CPUs, if you really wanna get more performance, you can disable the efficiency cores but this, I don't recommend you do it. It's just for specific games. And for certain games, also disabling the actual hyper-threading is gonna help. So it's usually in CPU configuration and you will be able to just hyper-threading disable 
this might help and uh, yeah basically but uh, for this tutorial we are not going to do it we're just going to show you the actual undervolt itself onto the proper strictly undervolting part so you want to find something that's called core voltage in my case it's the actual vrm core voltage because asus likes to be fancy but it's just a core voltage really so you want to find this hit enter and put it in offset mode now offset mode sign you want to put this to minus and then you want to put here the value if you don't have the minus option you just want to put the minus inside the value itself if that makes sense and now here you want to go ahead and put 0.05 okay so this is this is gonna work for like 99% of i5s now I have heard the very good things about certain i5s being able to go as far as 0.075 and that actually might be the case the best of the best out there will be able to do 0.1 so if you if you feel very lucky you might want to try this out crashes may occur so be sure to try it uh, safely and the worst i5s will do 0.03 that's gonna be like bottom line for the worst and really with this enabled, in my case 0.05 for performance, and then we will have the performance enhancement enabled. We just hit F10, save and close, and it's gonna be much better. So guys, if it was helpful, please remember your promise, drop a like and a sub, and I also do build videos, gaming PCs, etc. on the channel, so you might wanna take a look. Goodbye.